They say podcasts are going to replace books. I don't know about that, but I do think TRS clips will assist your learning process. Does Indian culture talk about the significance of dreams? Very much so. In which book or in many Puranas it's spoken about. Um, see, it's important when we say Indian culture and Hindu culture that we know the hierarchy or at least the classification. Even if you don't call it hierarchy, the classification of our different scriptures and what different scriptures speak about and. you can say dreams also appear in buddhist and jain scriptures which are in some way different from hindu scriptures because hindu scriptures come from the vedas buddhist and jain scriptures do not but even in those scriptures there are very detailed accounts of dreams and meanings of dreams mm. but if we were to say hindu scriptures or vedic sanatan dharm scriptures the source of all are the vedas there are four vedas as you know ऋग्वेदा सामवेद यजुर्वेद अथर्ववेद ऐसे चार है फोर वेदास ईच ऑफ द फोर वेदास आर डिवाइडेड इंटू थ्री सेक्शंस देर इज उपासना कांड विच इज प्योर इन्वोकेशन प्योर इन्वोकेशन ऑफ डिवाइन रियालिटी मैनिफेस्टेड एज ओ अग्नि यू आर सो ग्रेट यू आर सो लास्ट आई बाउ डाउन टू यू यू नो ओ सूर्य यू आर सो दिस ओ वाई यू एंड सो ऑन देन यू हैव अ कर्म कांड karma kand is then accessing those energies through the act of yagya and sacrifice yeah and so sacrifice. and sa- yeah as in yagya um so sacrifice is often interpreted as you know i am sacrificing an animal it's not that kind of sacrifice i am sacrificing my identity at a divine altar so when you have a havan that's blazing and you pour something into it whether you pour ghee or you pour some grains the thing that you say is swaha i offer and then you say idam na mama ye mera nahi hai and then you release it from your hand it's kind of like erasing your own personality and ego yeah it's dissolving your your own egotistical identity in front of a divine identity mm. so that's karma kand and the third one is gyan kand so gyan kand are philosophical texts on higher reality they are also known as upanishads Yeah. higher reality hi what, what is the ultimate reality what is the nature of ultimate reality see like there all, were all these questions we are talking about exactly exactly mm. and there are brief exchanges between the student and the teacher where the student goes and asks and the teacher answers yeah of which there are 108 principal upanishads that they say in previous times there were many many more what remains are 108 of the 108 the top 3 are isha upanishad kena upanishad kata upanishad and then there are rest 105 more upanishads beyond that right so you have vedas four vedas with three sections uh the last section being gyan kand which is talk speaks about a higher reality yeah and you have six schools of philosophy that take that higher reality and uh interpreted hmm. so uh that includes you know sankhya yoga yoga which is a school of philosophy as well and not just a physical practice sankhya yoga nyaya vaisheshika and so on and so what forth. what are all these they're just basically saying what is the nature of reality and different interpretations of it so the principle again the principle interpretation of the upanishads is vedanta school of philosophy which is a f- phrase that all hindus are familiar with yeah and then there are different types of vedantic schools which is not the question that you asked mm. but if you say this is the scriptural progression what ends up happening at some point we can't access the divine reality purely through those philosophical conversations ye bahut high level hai you know sometimes you're having a conversation and we are really connected into it and we say wow this is an amazing philosophy we go and recount recount it to our friend and like i kind of don't get it this is too high level mm. so in order to make that higher philosophy accessible our um rishis recounted what had happened in the past and used those recounts and retellings to explain the higher reality and make it accessible to us as in they took stories which actually happened amongst human beings correct they took events that happened in this manifest universe of ours in different planes including different beings and they wrote them down for us and there for that category of scripture there are two types there are the puranas and there are the itihasas itihasas are ramayana mahabharat puranas as you know is bhagavat puran 
Garud Puran, there's a Ganesh Puran, there's a Shiv Puran, Vishnu Puran, there's many, many different types of Puranas. In the Puranas, there are many recounting of dreams, of intuitive understanding. And like I said, in Buddhism and Jainism, in Buddhism, for example, before the Buddha was even conceived, his mother had a dream. And in that dream, she understood that a great being is coming into her womb and that 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 person could change the world. So yes, there is a space for intuitive understanding that we sometimes access through open eyes, sometimes access through meditation and sometimes come to us in the form of dreams. Mm. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you. 